I'm Julia Willingham and I work with Catoosa County Extension and today we're going to be talking about house ants on the bug plug. Here's a short video just for you all about bugs and what they do with Julia. Did you know that there are over 12,000 ant species in the world? Ants are actually in the order Hymenoptera. The order Hymenoptera also includes bees and wasps. When you look at ants, ants often have a really singed in waist. Also, ants have a lot of social tendencies that are similar to bees and wasps. Aww. Today, we're just gonna focus on four ant species that can sometimes enter your home here in North Georgia. The first ant that we're gonna talk about today is the acrobat ant. So the acrobat ant doesn't have crazy flexibility or really any acrobat abilities. This ant often will enter your home from higher places. So from power lines, phone lines that may be entering your house on the roof. They like to climb high up in trees or tree branches. And they'll often, often enter your home through the attic or an upper story level. Acrobat ants can be pretty easily identified. They are typically about one eighth of an inch long. They can be shiny and black to brown in color. But one thing that makes them stand out is their abdomen. So the abdomen of the acrobat ants is actually heart shaped. And often these acrobatic ants, when they walk, will hold their abdomen up at a 45 degree angle. Acrobat ants actually really like to nest in foam insulation or really any type of insulation. So one indicator that you may have acrobat ants is if you notice near a wall you see some dust and you keep cleaning that dust off and it keeps coming back. That may be an indication you may need to look inside and see if you have acrobat ants. The next ant that we're going to talk about is the Argentine ant. So the Argentine ant is actually the primary nuance pest in the state of Georgia. These ants are very fast crawlers and the worker ants, which are most likely, likely the ants that you're going to be seeing, are about one eighth of an inch long, so they're little, and light brown in color. Argentine ants typically will nest outside in leaf litter. However, they can be really difficult to control in winter months because that's when they like to move into your home because it's nice and warm. A fun fact about Argentine ants is actually they can travel really far distances for an ant. In one study, these ants traveled over 350 feet away from their original nest. This ant also really loves sugar, so sometimes they're called the sugar ants. The next ant that we're going to be talking about is the black carpenter ant. So the black carpenter ant is one of the largest ant species in Georgia. It's black in color and its abdomen has long or little gold hairs on it. Carpenter ants are mainly found when they're outside and not holes of hardwood trees. When carpenter ants are found inside, they're often found inside dishwashers or around dishwashers. Um, they can also be found in insulation, but really they're mainly located where wood has been left wet for a really long time. The last ant that we're gonna be talking about is the odorous house ant. So this ant is one of the smallest ants that we're gonna talk about today. They're very tiny. A fun fact about the odorous house ant is that when they're crushed, they are said to have a smell that kind of smells like suntan lotion or burnt coconuts. The odorous house ants are very moisture dependent and when they're found outside they're often found in mulch or ivy or really heavy ground cover. These teeny tiny ants will feed on many different foods in your house, however they really really like sweets. When they're outside they actually eat honeydew from aphids and nectar and flowers. So one of the best things in pest control is to be able to properly identify the pest in your mm. house. So today we only talked about four species of house ants. So hopefully if you do find an ant in your house, maybe it's one of these four species and when you can properly identify it, you can get the best methods to get rid of them in your house. And that's all for now on The Butt Plug.